In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the paper one of the Ordinary Level Leaving Cert 2004. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. Now, I'll be doing this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't the classroom, you're on YouTube, so take advantage of those tools pause the video, rewind, fast forward, or slow it down if I'm talking too fast. If you find this video useful or any of my other videos, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And what helps out the channel the most is sharing it with someone else who could be doing the Leaving Cert. Question four starts off with a fairly straightforward maths question. Four multiplied by the bracket two X minus five minus another one is equal to three X plus five. And they simply ask you to solve this equation in x. That means rearrange everything until you get x equals. x equals a number at the end. So what do we do? Let's multiply this bracket out first. Uh, four, let's multiply the 4 in. We get 8x. 4 times 2, 8x. 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. Minus 1 is still out here. Equals 3x plus 7. Now let's get all the x's to one side. That means taking 3x from both sides and all the numbers to the right. That means adding 20 and adding one to everywhere. So on the left side, we get eight minus, well, let's write it in, eight X minus three X. On the right side, we get seven here. We get plus 20 plus one. Clean all this up, we get five X is equal to 28. Divide both sides by five. We get X is equal 28 divided by five. And, um, and that's it, that's the answer. We can leave it like this, or what does that divide in as? Uh, let me just check my notes here. Uh, 5.6. Either of these is full marks for part A. In part B, we have uh, this situation where three people, Liam, John, and Marta, um, split a bill. Lee, they, they split it in this ratio. Uh, Liam, for every four, Liam pays John, John pays three and Marta pays five. That's sort of split up. So if this bill was, let's see, seven, 12, if this bill was 12, uh, Liam would pay four, John would pay three, and Marta would pay five. But it's, it's not 12, it's not gonna be as simple as that. Uh, this is a very common question. Usually they tell you what the total bill is and ask you to break it up. Or they might tell you how much Liam paid and then ask you to find out all the total. What they did tell you here was what Liam and John paid together. They paid 154 euro. So how do you solve this? The way to think of this is these numbers here as packets, as small bits of money. They're not one euro. I think of a coin or a note, but they're, they're different. It could be like uh, five. Uh, he, Liam pays four packets, all, each packet's worth five euro or he pays four packets, each packet's worth 50 euro, something like that. We need to find out what one of these packets is worth, because they're all worth the same. And we can do that by this bit of information. Liam and John, and John I think it's John it's pronounced, uh, they, they have seven packets between them. So seven, and we can put in X or something. Seven X is equal to 134, 154, I'm sorry. Um, so how much is one of these packets worth? This is uh, 154 divided by seven. And that goes in, let's say 140 is 20, so 22. Each packet, each unit is worth 22 euro. So I can write all of these now. Um, Liam pays four of these. He pays 88 euro. Uh, John pays 66 euro. And Marta, which was the question, uh, pays five times 22, which is 110, 110 euro. So that's the answer to part B. In part C, part one, they ask you to write 128 in the form of two to the power of K, where K is an element of N. Very confusing uh, way to write that. What they're really saying is two to the power of something is equal to 128. What, what number goes there? Uh, the information k to, as an element of n, that's just saying the number here, it's a normal number. It's not two and a half. It's not square root of something. 
It's it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's one of those. It's just a normal number. So what number is it? And you can just go ahead and use a calculator. Two to the power of one is two. Uh, you, the calculator just tell you all of it. It's two. It's four. It's eight. Sixteen. It's thirty-two. It's sixty-four. It's one hundred and twenty-eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A bit of trial and error will tell you that the answer here is seven. And um, there is another way to do this, but it's not really ordinary level. Uh, your calculator has a mode as a button, log button, and it lets you put anything you want down here. In this case, I would put two, and it lets you put anything you want here, and it gives you an answer. In this case, it'll give you seven. Uh, what this is doing is it's telling you two to the power of something equals 128. What is that something? The answer is seven. But again, you don't have to do this in ordinary level. It's just, you would get full marks though if you did know how to do it. Okay, for part two, it says hence or otherwise solve this. Uh, two to the power of, I can't quite read it there, so let me just double check. Uh, 4x plus one, 4x plus one is equal 128. Um, so what they want you to do is, they want you to notice that two to the four x plus one is equal two to the power of seven. So two to the power of something, two to the power of something. Really, that just means what's up here, four x plus one has to equal seven. That's all they want you to do, find that. They'll give you most of the marks for that. But then hopefully you can solve the maths part. Uh, take one from both sides, equals six. Uh, divide both sides by four, equals six over four, or that equals uh, sorry, three, three over two or 1.5. Either of these two is full marks um, for that question. Okay, that answers everything. If you have any follow-up questions, please put them in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.